Oh man, oh man. I hope my mic is good. Mic check, mic check. I hope my mic is good. Log on, everybody. Log on. Man. Tell you like this. This Drake thing. Kenji Lamar beef. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If y'all see my videos, y'all already know, know I don't like Drake. I always thought he was corny, always thought he was weak. And then he keeps on showing it from getting peed on to when the Miami Heat won the championship in 2013. And he tried to get in the locker room. Y'all remember that? And they denied him entry. And he's like, but, but I'm Drake. And he's like, nah, this is for media, man. Carry your eyes. The, um, they not like us. <laughs> Basically called him a pedo. And then he came back with another song talking about, I put that information out there. And you fell for it. That's cap. <clears throat> That's cap. I thought that was cap. It was all cap. Because I just happened to be watching academics like a day or so before. And academics was like, and you know, y'all know academics have a poster of Drake on his wall that he wakes up to and goes to sleep to and bow down to. Right? So. I'm watching academics and he was like, oh, when, when he was dropping the, um, I don't remember which song it was, but when, when he first accused him of the whole pedal and academics was like, oh, what if this is fake information? What if they planted that information out there? Drake obviously was watching academics and took that and ran with it. Cause he made a whole song talking about, yeah, I planted that information out there. It just so happens that a day or so before academics who, who was your number one fan was saying the same thing. Come on, man. Y'all need to stop. We need to cut Drake, Drake and Vlad TV. Y'all need to cut them off, man. Vlad TV and Drake. Y'all need to cut them off, man. Cut off their water, man. Straight like that. Because they take too much liberty. They're taking too much liberty with this hip-hop thing. Everybody know Vlad be setting people up. And Drake is a wannabe. To be honest, if Drake or Vlad came out in the 90s, they would have got shut down a long time ago. They would have got shut down a long time ago because they're not for us. They're not fubu. They're not for us by us. Drake came over the song talking about he planted that information. And now, you know, the internet never loses. <laughs> so the internet did some digging. Matter of fact, I'm going to call his name. His name is Carcino. Carcino for life. Carcino, you have to go check out his page because he has the um, the pictures and the video of the teenage girl over in Turks and Caicos that he's rocking with. I don't know if she have a baby by him or what. But all of this is going to come out eventually. Drake is trying to save his career. He should count his losses and just bow out meaning bow out of hip hop because he's been exposed he's running with Diddy he's on the same time Diddy on and they both on demon time all of these dudes on demon time it's a wrap Cat Williams told you 2024 we really in the, in the times of revelations man and all those secrets in the dark have to come to light. Now, moving forward, what are people going to do with all this information? Y'all still going to be bumping the Drake in the club? 
Y'all still, y'all not gonna say nothing to the DJ? Yo, DJ, cut that off, man. We don't wanna hear that. Y'all still gonna be shaking your asses to, to the Drake? Y'all still gonna be bumping it in your cars? Knowing this guy entered a rap battle with the whole sweatshop full of ghostwriters. Got ghostwriters on the clock working 24-7 paragraph per paragraph. They can't take no lunch breaks. Can't take a smoke break. Just got to keep writing bars, writing bars. Y'all remember Tentacion? Y'all remember? XXX Tentacion said, if anything happens to me, Drake did it. Y'all remember that? Before he died, he made it clear that he was a sound mind. And he said, if anything happens to me, Drake did it. There's too much, too much things showing how this guy is poison. He's poison for this generation. The balls in y'all court. Because I never rocked with him. I never liked him. All those that do rock with him, the ball's in your court. You got to pick a side. You can't straddle the fence. Y'all got to pick a side. You know? What y'all going to do? He's already been aired out. He's a pedophile. Allegedly. I mean, what y'all gonna do? I mean, honestly, decisions need to be made. I mean, real niggas stand up, man. Decisions need to be made. Y'all need to go through this whole guy's catalog. And all those ghostwriters need to get their money. You know, all the guys that he was swagger jacking, using their rhymes. Oh, that's my lawyer. Ah, my lawyer's trying to call me. I got to end this. I got to call my lawyer. Yo, the ball's in y'all court. Cut, cut Drake water off, man. Cut Drake water off. Peace. I'm Dingo Star, a.k.a. Freshly Snipes, a.k.a. Cassius Matthias, and I'm out.